everyone, Tamara here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a rag quilt without having to cut any squares. Before I jump right into the tutorial, I do want to mention that there are two different blankets that I've made here. One I made with one yard of fabric, the other I made with a yard and a half of fabric. The yard and a half will end up with more of a rectangle and then the one yard fabric will end up with more of a square look. The next thing that you need to know is within the tutorial itself, I did not add batting into the blanket. However, again, for this blanket, I did add batting. If you're going to add batting into your no cutting blocks rag quilt, you're going to want to make sure that your batting is cut the exact same length as the rest of your fabric that you're choosing. Do not cut it smaller because it will need to be sewn along all of the edges to make sure that it doesn't wrinkle up through the wash. All right, so let's get started. What you're going to need to make your no cutting rag quilt is only two types of fabric. So you'll need one type for the top and one type for the bottom, or I should say print, not type. So for myself, I chose this cute little deer pattern. And then on the back, I've got a hot pink. I think it'll look really nice popping through the white fabric. So the first thing that you're gonna do is decide which fabric that you're choosing is going to go on the top. Make sure you're going to lay both of the those fabrics together with the wrong sides facing inwards. Once you do that, you're going to want to trim all the way around your fabric to make sure that all of your edges are even. I've already pre-done that and I've already pre-pressed my fabric as well to make sure that all the wrinkles are out before I start sewing. I am working with two fabrics that were cut at one yard each minus the little bit of trimming that I did around the edges. So once you have trimmed your fabric, then the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to spread it out with your hands, make sure you get all of those wrinkles out, and then you're going to fold it in half to find your center seam. So line up those edges. And then press it out with your hands again. Now, once you've done that, you know where your center seam is going to be sewn. I'm going to sew along this fold at a one inch seam. You could do a half inch seam if you want it, uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do a one inch seam. So I'm gonna bring this to the sewing machine, do that, and then we'll come right back here. All right. I have sewn down the very center of our folded fabric, and now you are going to take your fabric and lay it out. So on the front of your fabric, you're gonna see this loop and you're gonna cut right down the center of that loop. So now that you've cut down your center seam, you're going to want to prepare your two other seams that are gonna go along each side. So you're gonna want to flip this over because if you were to fold it like this and then sew a seam, you're going to end up ragging on the wrong side of your blanket. So always make sure that whatever fabric you have chosen to be the top of your blanket, you're always seeing that when you're sewing your edges. That way you know that all of your ragging is gonna be on the same side. So we're going to flip this over. And as you can see, we've got a perfect seam here down the center. We're gonna spread that out again, no wrinkles. You're going to take this outer edge and you're going to fold it about an inch over this center seam line. And this is why you wanted to trim around all of your fabric at the very beginning so you've got a proper edge that you can visually follow. All right, so that is about one inch over that center seam line. And then you're going to pin all the way along that edge and you're going to sew it at your one inch seam. What you can do is you can do these two in separate steps. So you could take this to your sewing machine, you could sew that down and then you could do the same on the other side. I don't like all the back and forth. So I tend to do both of these seams at the same time and then I'll come back and show you both sewn edges. All right, so to do this side, you're gonna open that up. I'm gonna take this fabric and do the same thing about an inch over that center seam line. All right, so 
I have pinned both of my edges. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna sew along it at a one inch seam. Don't know if I said it before, but if you want to do a half inch seam, you can. Just make sure that whatever seam allowance you're deciding on, you do for the entire blanket. A quick reminder, make sure that your top fabric is seen when you're sewing so that you make sure that your ragging edges are all ending up on the same side of your blanket. So now you have both of your side seams sewn. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna cut along each one. Now at this point, if you have added batting in between your blanket, I would suggest cutting out your batting at this point, just cutting along the edges here and cutting out all that excess batting. It's gonna be a lot easier to do it now before you sew the opposite seams. So now you're going to, you could use your iron and press these pieces open or just use your hands and push them open. And now you're gonna do the same thing, just opposite. So you'll find your, the center of your blanket, you'll fold it in half. You wanna make sure that these edges are all open. And then also, on this side, you've got your three seams. And so all you have to do is line them up. That way, when your blanket is all put together, it will look like perfect little squares or rectangles, depending on the length of your blanket. And don't forget to backstitch all of your seams. I know normally with rag quilts, you don't have to backstitch when you start, but because there's less seams being sewn, you wanna make sure that everything is secure. So make sure all of those seams line up before you start pinning. And then you've essentially found the center of your blanket once again. I always smooth everything out to try to make sure that no wrinkles will occur. All right, let's pin it. And this is your center seam along the other edge. Okay, so I've pinned down the center seam and made sure all of these are cut open and folded open. Then as you can see here, you can tell that all of the seams are fairly lined up. And I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and just run that one inch seam along there. All right, so your center seam has been sewn. Oh, I'm very crooked, let me fix that. All right, so your center seam has been sewn once again. I'll show you what that looks like. So on the back, as you can see, we've got our center seam and the cross seams are here. And then on the top of the blanket, you see the same loop that we created when we did these three seams. So we'll cut across it and then we'll prep those side seams. All right, so that's what that looks like. Now we're gonna do our two side seams. We wanna make sure that we're folding in the direction so that our top fabric is going to be facing up. That way all of our seams end up on the same side of our blanket. So let's flip this over. We can see our center seam here, which is helpful. Then we're going to take our outer edge and we are going to fold it in one inch over the center line and make sure that these line up with your sewn seams that were done previously. Make sure those outer edges are opened and you're gonna pin along that side. All right, so we've got both of our outer edges folded inwards and pinned. These seams are pressed open and I'll take it to the sewing machine and do a one inch seam along there. We can open it up and if you look on the back, you'll be able to see that all of our seams actually line up. So you've got your blanket with all of your squares without having to have cut them all. And then on the front, we've got those two loops that we're going to cut down the center again. And once you've cut down the center, if you did do batting, this would be the time to cut down all of those center seams again. That way you can get all the batting out from in between. The nice thing about doing a blanket like this with batting in it is it will be sewn along all of these edges before you cut out all the excess batting. So you don't have to worry about it moving around in your blanket even though you did not sew the crisscrosses that you would normally sew on a blanket. Now that you're at this stage, 
you can see you've got all your nice squares there and you just need to run a seam around the edge of your blanket again it's the same seam that you've been sewing the entire time so for me that is one inch I'm going to pin my fabric together so it doesn't wrinkle and I'm going to open up these seams and then once you've sewn around the entire outer edge your blanket is pretty much like any other rag quilt blanket that you've made with individual squares so then you can go through and you can start snipping all of these edges when you're snipping along all of your outer edges the closer that you snip all of these edges together the better the ragging will become all right I have sewn around all of the edges I remembered to back stitch okay so that is a sewn rag quilt without having to cut any squares and when you do it with one yard you can see here they're all sewn into what looks like individual squares they're all nicely lined up seams because we matched all of our seams as we went through and now it's just a matter of clipping this rag quilt out the same way you would any of your other rag quilts and once you have done all of the clipping so you'll put it through your washing machine on a quick cycle two times second time you can do with soap depending on your fabric you can do warm or cold and then throw it in the dryer once and all of your edges will end up looking like this blanket here and that's how you make a rag quilt without having to cut any squares. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you like watching craft videos, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And as always, I wanna tell you what my tutorial is gonna be for the next video. I want to teach you how to make a rag quilt with scallops along the edge. It's a beautiful project, and I know you'll enjoy making it. Thanks for watching, bye! Boys, please no fighting! And Mateo, don't shoot your brother! Kids. Okay.